that comes out into this this one behind us and that's where all the magic happens. The magic Curtis Hebert is talking about is the green ammonia being made on his land. Hebert is the operator of RNL Acres. He's been farming since he was 12 and says one of the main ingredients needed for farming is ammonia. Hydrous ammonia as we call it or NH3. Uh, we use that for nitrogen fertilizer. So it is the primary form of nitrogen fertilizer. Roughly 80% of the world's ammonia is used in agriculture as fertilizer. Making it involves removing hydrogen from fossil fuels and has a significant impact on the environment. Now, a new process for making carbon-free green ammonia is being tested on Hebert's farm. He says green ammonia could save the environment while it saves him money on fluctuating fuel prices. If I don't have to use fossil fuels, that's great. Um, you know, it, that's a volatility thing, right? If we can be off the grid, I don't have to worry about the prices of, of all those things. Fuel Positive's green ammonia system uses hydrogen from water and nitrogen from the air. Those elements combined in this container using hydroelectricity and the end result is carbon-free green ammonia. The Canadian company invented the containerized green ammonia production system. This gives an idea of how the process works. Fuel Positive kept the container closed to keep its new technology a secret for now. CEO Ian Clifford says one of the most important ingredients in making green ammonia is using carbon-free electricity. One of the reasons we're starting all of this in Manitoba is specifically because it's a green grid. Uh, it's low cost electricity. Ammonia would be um, about up to here. Mario Tenuta is a professor of soil ecology at the University of Manitoba. He says making green ammonia could have a cascading effect that will appeal to major food processors and retailers. Very enticing for them. So yeah, this technology approach is, um, is being watched very carefully by many different groups in our food system. Well, having it right on site, uh, have less problem with supply and hopefully, you know, remove some of the, the volatility in the price. Of Hebert says the system is controlled remotely and won't add to his workload. All he has to do is apply it. Mike Arsenault, CBC News, Sperling, Manitoba.